Casey Kruger, or Casey Short, as she was known when she roamed the halls of Naperville Central High School, was quite simply one of the greatest athletes the area had ever seen. Her talent was so dynamic that every spring, a decision had to be made, and the hopes of the track and field and girls soccer teams hung in the balance. As a freshman in the spring of 2005, Casey played for the soccer team under head coach Ed Watson. However, the next year, it was the girls' track and field coach, Mike Stein, who reaped the benefits as Kruger decided to run with the track team and play soccer during club season. The decision paid dividends immediately as she won the state championship in the 800 meters as a sophomore in 2006. The following spring, she returned to the track team and became the first in Illinois history to win the 800 and 400 meter state championships in the same season. Despite a historic amount of success, the decision between the two sports was never easy. Yeah, it was really, really tough having, you know, both of those sports in the same season and being forced to essentially decide every year. It was it was a tough decision every single year. And I didn't know what I was going to do until the very last second my senior year. Um, but I ultimately decided soccer because soccer is my love. It's my passion. Um, I, I did track to help my soccer. Um, and the girls on the team, you know, came to me and I, I wanted to play for them and just have that, you know, fun senior year and, and go out with, the, you know, on a good note um, with the soccer team. Heading into her senior season in 2008, Coach Watson was able to rejoice as Casey decided to return to the soccer pitch for the Red Hawks. Kruger earned All-State and All-American honors that season and helped Central win a regional championship before moving on to play collegiately at Florida State University. After being selected fifth overall in the 2013 NWSL draft, injuries became an issue for Kruger in her first years out of college. After playing briefly in Boston, Chicago, and Norway, she returned home to the Chicago Red Stars at the start of the 2016 season. Now one of the longest tenured Red Stars players, Casey enjoys seeing so many familiar faces from the Naperville area on the roster. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to have um, all the schools in Naperville represented and just to see how much talent comes out of Naperville, you know, such a rich history, such a rich athletic history, specifically soccer. Um, but to be able to play on the same team now is, is pretty darn cool and I'm glad to not be playing against them anymore, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's something that we do joke around about a lot, um, you know, give each other a hard time. But it's, it's pretty cool that all of these Naperville girls are now playing for the home team together. Standouts from rival schools like Vanessa DiBernardo from Wabonzi Valley, Zoe Goralski from Nequa Valley, and Kayla Sharples from Naperville North are now key players in the Red Stars lineup. The list continues if you include the Red Stars reserves with the likes of Nikki Hernandez from Matia Valley, Alyssa Bombasino, Ryan Garris, Leah Sinise, and Piper Biziorek from Nequa Valley, and Grace Setter from Wabonzi Valley. During her time in Chicago, Kruger was frequently called upon to play for the U.S. women's national team in various competitions. After being one of the final players left off the 2019 World Cup roster, the chance of a lifetime finally arrived in the summer of 2021. After being named an alternate to the Olympic team initially, Casey Kruger was added to the official roster in late July. It was like a whirlwind. It was, you know, not only am I going to Tokyo as an alternate, I'm actually I actually can be on the team and I can dress, which was incredible. And then it was, you know, if you dress, you are officially an Olympian and then you get a medal and all these things. And so it was just like one incredible blessing after another. And I, you know, I didn't take one moment for granted, but um, yeah, it was crazy from the start. As the defending World Cup champions and Olympic gold medal winners, there was an intense amount of pressure on the United States. But Kruger was thrilled to be part of a once in a lifetime experience nothing came easy for this team you know not one game was easy um and to be able to even dress and you know get a few minutes in the the new zealand game was incredible i wasn't sure you know that would even happen and flacco gave me that opportunity um to get those minutes and step on the field and to officially become an olympian which was incredible. After a rocky start, the team regrouped, advancing to the semifinals before falling one nothing to Canada. But the red, white, and blue battled back in the third place game to earn the bronze medal over Australia with a four to three victory. You know, the next game, next couple of games were pretty crazy as well. But um, to be able to fight it back and to medal and bring some hardware home was really special for this team. You know, it wasn't exactly what we 
had envisioned coming into the Olympics, this team obviously expects to win, you know, every single game. And that's what makes this team incredible. But I think this medal was really special for this team because it didn't come easy at all. It's the latest in a memorable year for Naperville Central alumni athletes. Former Red Hawk Cameron Brait won a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay this February. Basketball star Candace Parker returned home to play for the Chicago Sky and was named the first female cover athlete for the NBA 2K video game series. We have so many stars at Naperville Central and it's just the coolest thing to see. You know, everyone succeeding, you know, looking up to Candace, you know, seeing Cam. I, we actually trained um, at the same Naperville Center for a bit. Um, so I definitely keep tabs on, you know, how all the other uh, athletes are doing as well. And it's, it's really cool to support and see, you know, their success as well. With a successful professional career and now an Olympic medal, the former Naperville Central star still has things she wants to achieve before she hangs up the cleats. Number one, I would definitely like to bring home an Andrew Vassell championship to the city for sure. Um, and then as far as the international stage, I definitely wanted to play you know, in the Olympics and also World Cup. So that's still something on the list that's not done yet. Whether she's wearing the jersey from Naperville Central, the Red Stars, or the United States, Casey Kruger has always given everything she has for her school, her city, and her country. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.